WATC is a nonprofit organization that raises funds for underprivileged countries in need of medical care. Stony Brook has recently had a chapter of WATC formed on campus, headed by Daniel Amadezea. Using his entrepreneurship skills, he has created new ways for the group to collect donations. It's really a matter of see what works, and uh, whether it's asking students to go ahead and uh, asking their friends, asking their family, or um, baking cup. Some we have people baking cupcakes, and they're asking people for donations for those cupcakes. Um, so within the boundaries of what we're allowed to do, we're trying to uh, raise as much money as possible. But at the same time, uh, what's more important is to just get people aware of the issue, and the issue is that we have millions of people around the world that don't have access to basic medical care. So uh, that's what we're trying to do, to both educate and to help. Uh, so far, we actually had a homecoming bake sale. We raised close to $500, and we actually funded two patients. Uh, one was a kid who needed uh, surgery on his foot, and another one was a mom who couldn't give birth to her child uh, naturally, so she needed a C-section. And also our second fundraiser is actually going to be done tomorrow, which is a chicken and rice. And I would say that is the largest fundraiser we've had so far because we are close to donating about $1,000 to Watsi, which could actually fund more than three or four patients. So, you know, that's, that's so far what we've been doing. I hope that Watsi at Stony Brook could uh, be a blueprint for other schools to open not just a Watsi, but to help and fund medical care across the world. So it's not as much as it being Watsi, which is that, that is our number one goal, but the bigger point is that we are funding medical care for those in need overseas.